I had to put up with 17 kids saying the Manashtan. Yeah, yeah, I, st I, was at, I was a guest at someone's house. It's cute when the first kid gets up, but when you're on an empty stomach, and the one-year-old, I could swear the mother said the entire Manishtan. I'm just thinking, Kalisha. <laughs> this is not the Seder I signed up for. And Beit Shemes, she would be. These days in Beit Shemesh, women are not allowed to listen to Kol Ish. I know a woman in Beit Shemesh, Kanaida Har, she's expecting twins. She got a T-section to put a machitza in the middle, just in case. I, listen, I respect this. I really respect this. You can't take it too far, you know? Me call. Hallelujah. And let me tell you something, Mr. 17-year-old kid, you're not cute anymore. We don't care. We know you know the Manishtana, the whole thing, with the Yiddish. That would be sufficient. And then, we start going through the Haggadah. And then there's that one guy, you just have one thing on your mind, you want to get to the food. Of course, you know, you have to go through the mar, you got to go through the different stages, the little different levels in the game, until you can get to the food. But there's one guy, your nemesis, standing in the way. And this one guy, after every paragraph, you know, there's a good question about the man. I got a good answer. It's called chicken soup. You continue to another paragraph. You know, one of the rabbim, I forgot which one, I think he has something interesting to say about that. And the same guy, when you go through all the four sons, as if he discovered it for the first time, you know, there's a fifth son. Yes, there's a fifth son. Let me tell you something, ladies and gentlemen. There's a reason why the Haggadah doesn't go through all the different kind of daughters, we would still be at the Seder.